Hi, I'm Chris Mutchler, VCDX257 from virtualelephant.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to conduct a requirements gathering interview as part of the TOGAF ADM process. Now, these skills can be applied to any aspiring enterprise architect or VCDX certification candidate. In this video, I'll highlight how to ask questions, document the requirements, and make sure that you've engaged the stakeholders appropriately to make sure that you can be successful. Let's get started. Before conducting the requirements gathering interview, thorough preparation is essential. By taking the time to prepare, you position yourself for a more successful and productive discussion with stakeholders. Here are some key aspects to consider during the preparation phase. One, familiarize yourself with the project goals, including any documentation, the project charter, or business case that they've provided. Understand what the desired outcomes are of the enterprise architecture initiative and how it aligns with the organization's overall strategy. Two, identify the stakeholders involved. Determine who the key stakeholders are who will be participating in the requirements gathering interview and understand their roles and responsibilities and even influence within the organization. Third, understand the context and the architecture vision. This means familiarizing yourself with the current state of the organization's architecture landscape and identifying any existing architecture frameworks, standards, or practices they have already in place. And then fourth, frame your questions effectively. Based on your understanding of the project goals, objectives, stakeholders, and architecture vision, develop a set of targeted questions and tailor your questions to elicit specific information related to the stakeholders' needs, pain points, and aspirations. By thoroughly preparing yourself before the requirements gathering interview, you position yourself as a knowledgeable and trusted advisor to the stakeholders. Your preparation enables you to ask relevant and insightful questions that extract valuable information and insights from the stakeholders. It also demonstrates your commitment to understanding their needs and aligning the project architecture with their expectations. Remember, preparation is the key to a successful requirements gathering interview, whether it be for your actual job, as a consultant, or for the VCDX certification itself. By familiarizing yourself with the project goals, objectives, stakeholders, and architecture vision, you can make sure that you ask the right questions and have a more productive discussion. Identifying the key stakeholders relevant to the architecture project is work that should be done prior to the requirements interview. Reach out to them and schedule the interviews. Ensure you have the right people at the table representing different business areas and technical expertise. This diversity will provide a holistic understanding of the requirements. When it comes to the VCDX design defense interview, make sure you understand what role each of the VCDX panelists is playing and understand what those roles typically are when you encounter them with a customer or organization. Crafting effective questions is a crucial skill for conducting requirements gathering interviews. The questions you ask can shape the quality and depth of the information you gather from stakeholders. As an aspiring enterprise architect or VCDX candidate, it's important to leverage the right questions to gain valuable insights. As an enterprise architect, it is important to spend time understanding why the business is going through the architecture vision phase. Understanding the drivers for the business will help shape the technical requirements questions you will want to ask. For business context and objectives, some sample questions are, what are the primary business objectives driving this architecture initiative? How do you envision the architecture supporting the organization's strategic goals? And what are the critical success factors for the business and how can the architecture contribute to them? From a future state vision perspective, how do you envision the ideal future state of the architecture and its impact on the organization? What capabilities, functionalities, or innovations would you like to see in the future architecture? Are there any emerging technologies or trends that you believe should be considered in the architecture design? For example, things like Kubernetes and self-service portals. From a VCDX perspective, the certification and defense panel focus on the more technical side of the requirements. It's important to know how to ask questions to identify requirements for the key areas covered in the VCDX blueprint. For reliability, what are the critical business processes or systems that require high reliability? What are the acceptable levels of downtime for these processes or systems? 
And are there any specific reliability standards or industry regulations that need to be considered? And most importantly, how do you currently measure and monitor the reliability of your systems? From a recoverability perspective, what are the key business processes or systems that need to be recoverable in the event of a failure? What are the RTO and RPO objectives for these systems? And have you identified any specific disaster recovery strategies or technologies to be employed? From a performance perspective, what are the critical performance requirements for your key business processes or applications? And are there any specific response times or throughput targets that need to be met? And are there any known performance bottlenecks or areas of concern that need to be addressed? From a security perspective, what are the key security requirements of your systems and data? Are there any specific security standards or compliance regulations that need to be followed? From a manageability perspective, how do you currently manage and maintain your systems and applications? Are there any specific configuration management or change management requirements? And do you have any specific tools or technologies in mind for managing the systems? And from an availability perspective, what are the critical business processes or systems that require high availability? And are we talking about high availability from an application perspective or from an infrastructure perspective? What are the desired levels of uptime or availability for these processes or systems? And are there any specific availability or service level agreements to be met? And how are you currently monitoring to ensure the availability of your systems? These specific questions will help you delve into the specific aspects covered by the VCDX blueprint. Tailor these questions further based on the organization's context, industry, and specific requirements. Remember, active listening and probing for more details during the interview will help you gather comprehensive and accurate information to inform your architectural decisions. The final part of the requirements interview should be around validating and verifying the requirements. Once you've gathered the requirements, the next crucial step is to validate and verify them with the stakeholders. This step is vital to ensure that the requirements accurately reflect the stakeholders' needs, expectations, and aspirations. It also helps avoid misunderstandings, ambiguities, and potential gaps in the requirements. To validate and verify requirements effectively, schedule follow-up meetings with stakeholders. During these meetings, present a summary or a draft document that captures their requirements. Encourage stakeholders to review the information and provide feedback. Actively listen to their inputs, clarifications, and suggestions. This process helps ensure that their requirements are well understood and accurately represented in the final documentation. In summary, crafting effective questions, validating and verifying requirements, and documenting them with traceability are crucial steps in conducting requirements gathering interviews. By asking the right questions, actively involving stakeholders, and ensuring the accuracy and clarity of requirements, you lay the groundwork for successful architecture initiatives. Remember, effective requirements gathering sets the stage for designing architectures that meet stakeholders' needs, align with business objectives, and drive organizational success. So prepare thoroughly, engage stakeholders, ask insightful questions, validate requirements, and document them with traceability. Hopefully now you have a better understanding of what is required during a requirements gathering interview as part of an enterprise architecture engagement. Now, if you're a VCDX candidate, I encourage you to review these sample questions prior to your defense day and come up with questions that you think will be relevant in a number of situations. Please consider subscribing below by smashing that subscribe button, liking this video, and commenting below. I look forward to talking to you next time. Thanks.